And tonight, new at 10, only a handful of people still speak a language once pretty popular over in eastern Missouri. Yeah, it's called Paw Paw French, one of the oldest French dialects that originated in the United States. Linda Ong visited Old Mines, Missouri to talk with one of the few remaining speakers. David and Jennifer, Paw Paw French is a dialect that became localized in Missouri and Illinois. It has Cajun, American Indian, and Canadian French influences. Efforts to preserve the language are few and far between, but those who do speak it are trying to hold on to every word. The tune of La Guionne takes you back in time to old mines in the 1700s. The French, the language froze. It didn't grow any, except for people making up words. They kind of uh, took the English word and, and kind of put their twist to it. This dialect became known as Papa French. Comment ça va? Ça va bien vous. C'est bon ça. Spoken by many 18th century French settlers, like Natalie Vilmer's family, who called old mines their new home. My great grandfather came directly from France to New York and to Belleville and then here. So he brought the French, uh, French with him, you know, from France. He was a miller. Once spoken by thousands of people at its peak, Paw Paw French is now fading into existence. And Vilmer is one of the handful of remaining speakers who is trying to keep it alive. And by the 80s and 90s, it just, you know, all those older people passed away. And so today there's very few that, you know, like myself, maybe they can say some phrases, you know, Say on jolie journée, you know, it's a beautiful day. But very rarely now are these phrases spoken. Joe Poli oh, also yeah. speaks Papa French. Aside from bonjour, comment ça va, comment allez-vous, that type of thing, how are you, how are you doing? Uh, as conversational French is very rare anymore around here. The dialect was handed down informally, generation to generation. Vilmer was taught by her parents and grandfather, a happy memory. They didn't want people knowing what they were saying, so they'd get on the phone and talk in French and laugh and carry on, you know, because they always said that the French was much funnier than the English language. But around the 1930s, Papa French began to lose its prominence. Tanya Tinsley is a French professor at Missouri State University. She says the decline is due to assimilation. People started to associate it with a lack of education or being um, somewhat uh, isolated from the rest of the uh, from the rest of the society and kind of being old-fashioned. Except for a few articles and books, the dialect isn't extensively documented, which is why Vilmer is trying to preserve the language by teaching others through song. That's easier than trying to keep the language going on a daily basis. Despite her efforts and that of a few others, Vilmer says the interest in learning the language just isn't there. Do you think that Papa French will stand the test of time. Pray not. It will not. It's dying out now and it just won't, it won't be, it won't exist anymore. An impending end to a dialect that will soon fade into mere memories. You lose a lot of your history. You lose a lot of where you came from. It is sad that it's, that's being lost. Natalie Vilmer said there are a few other Papa French speakers in Old Mines, as well as in DeSoto, Festus, and St. Louis. There are annual festivals that are held in and surrounding Old Mines, which hold on to the rich traditions of the early French settlers. Vilmer said she hopes interest in learning Papa French will grow before the remaining speakers all pass away. Very interesting story there tonight.